All right, my favorite people, you see the title, you see the thumbnail on these key things not many people know about when it comes to reaching out to owners of properties that has saved myself and countless uh, investors that I've worked with millions of dollars on deals and then also hours and hours on time. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it with the first point of you have to have the right contact information. This is very important. And you can get this from using these two uh, sources, uh, which is the first one is truepeoplesearch.com and I'm not affiliated with either of these. Uh, and then also beenverified.com and that is B-E-E-N verified.com. True People Search is free. Uh, the data is not as good. It's okay. And Ben Verified is a paid service, but the data is much more uh, better because, of course, with free, you get what you pay for. Uh, and then you just simply type in the uh, owner's uh, cont not contact, but let's say their first and uh, last name. And let's say you have a middle name and then all of their contact will come up, such as their their uh, phone their their email and then also their home address for where you can send direct mail and later we'll go into actually what to say uh, when you are reaching out and then the other way that you can use is using databases that already have this con uh, th this information such as you got prop streams you've got Rianomy, and you've got such as the the co-stars among many other ones and most of the time for people just getting started they don't have the money to invest in this or they may believe it's it's too expensive but when it comes to expensive it's all relative because the thing is you're saving time which is by far your most valuable asset to where you don't have to use these other apps to then find the contact information so that's what i want to mention first and foremost is one you've got the person's uh, first and last name and then you can then use something such as truepeoplesearch.com been verified to then get their contact or you can use a database that already has this and now the next steps is to reach out to them. And by far, my favorite is actually the calling route. I know some people are getting screamed. says, I have to call an absolute stranger. Yes, uh, in this case. And you don't have to do it uh, yourself uh, as well as you can uh, hire VAs. But is in this in this case is when you first reach out, and I've used this on buying a 46 unit, a 50 unit, uh, 100 uh, 56 unit and 280 units is the call is very simple and I'll tell you exactly what to say is uh, hey John Sterling here wanted a person reach out to see if you consider selling and so you're just very straight to the the, the point there's no NLP no trickery and uh, from there is many a times you'll get not interested hey John I knew you probably say that before I even uh, called tell you what uh, just give me five seconds, 10 seconds. If you don't like what you hear, I'll hang up on myself. Because the thing is, many people just say not interested just to say it. And then you're just wanting to further get into the call. That way you can determine actually if there is a motivation that they need to sell the property, whether uh, they've just inherited it or that they're just tired and burnt out a landlord. So that is what you'll use to stay in the call. And then the other uh, way that you can use is direct mail, which is another powerful tool. But with all of these that I'm sharing with you is the key thing is to remain consistent. And this is a conversation I had with an investor and they were just trying to figure out through strategy sessions uh, that I do with investors is that, hey, I've been doing direct mail, but it's not working. And I asked them, how many times did you hit the list and send out a campaign? And they said, once you guys. I almost just threw my hands up in the air is of course is you got to be consistent with it. That's important. So let's say now uh, you you're still having difficulties with uh, reaching out to the owners of the property is another way that you can use is direct mail. Uh, and one of the ways that I'll do is I'll actually send birthday cards <laughs> to the owners of properties. And no, I don't know their exact day uh, when they were born but i'll just say hey just want to make sure uh, is i may be a little bit too early i may be a little bit too soon but just want to make sure i have you covered so that's one way or the other one is just a simple uh, handwritten uh, letter that says hey i see you own bentwood apartments just want a person to reach out to see if you consider selling but then again is you just have to be consistent uh with this so that's the 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 main thing as a way to stay top of mind 
because it comes down to timing oftentimes where they may not be ready the first time uh, you reach out, but as long as you keep following up and in a creative way following up, not just following up saying, hey, are you now interested in selling your property? Now you're interested in selling your property. That will get you blown out the deal. But if you're taking different angles and creatively following up, I guarantee you that that will give you the upper hand over the competition. So that's what I have for you all today. If you've made it to the end, go ahead and comment below with Chad. I know random, by the way. And then also go ahead and like the video as well. Until then, I'll see you next time. All right. Appreciate you. And out here in Guadalajara. You probably cannot. Uh, Guadalajara, uh, Mexico. So beautiful view there. Thank you so much, you all.